Hey guys, Lost here, and welcome to another Minecraft mod battle here on the channel. Today, another fan suggested fight. We are going to be having the Minnow Shroom from Twilight Force face off against the Mutant Skeleton from the Mutant Beast mod. And we are going to see which mob is mightier. Now, last week's episode, if you watched it, the uh, Minnow Shroom fought against the Mutant Creeper. It was a pretty close call. This time, it's the Mutant Skeleton. So, if you guys have been enjoying the fights here on the channel definitely smash that like button to show your support if this video can get 50 if this video can get to 15 likes i will consider uh doing two next week so let's see if we can let's even get this video to 15 likes and also i already have to cut the video because i just realized i forgot to grab a certain command that i need for this series all right we're back kill all command yeah i need that <laughs> or else this doesn't work and I have to spend hours killing things. All right, so uh, let's do this. Let's start things off. So, Minishroom, 120 health. Facing off against Mutant Skeleton, 150 health. Let the fighting commence. Of course, they both have this interesting way of attacking. The Minishroom has his uh, delayed thing where he charges in. Mutant Skeleton has, of course, all of his ways of knocking you back. So, it's pretty interesting. So far, the cow is losing, though. Mutant Skeleton's doing, pulling out all the stops to get this boy. And he also does, uh, I think it's hunger. But not that mobs need to really eat half the time. But Mutant Skeleton has concluded his fight. He's lost almost about half his health though, so... Very interesting indeed. The bones will stay till next round, so let's move on to the next round. We got two of you boys fighting against one. Let's go. Alright, they're charging into battle! Of course, the more uh, Minishrooms we get, the more it will, they will outnumber and overwhelm the Mutant Skeleton. Are they knocking the bones around? That's pretty interesting. I think the Mutant Skeleton is, actually. Because they are entities on the ground. I, I've always said this. I love... Oh, they won. I love the idea of the Mutant Skeleton's bones everywhere because it just looks more... The, the arena looks more battle damage. Battle hardened. I don't know. Um, but they won that round, so let's, let's do a two on two, shall we? So two on two. Let's go. I like how evenly matched the Minishroom happens to be with all these, the mutant, uh, boys, you know? Oh, they're doing the ribcage attacks. They haven't done that yet. All oh, the cows didn't like that. They're going in. If they just double team one, though, they pretty much have it have it won. Oh, maybe not, actually. Now it's a one-on-one. -on -one. <laughs> yeah, so if you guys didn't know, when the skeleton explodes, his bones, if they hit, they do a ton of damage. This guy actually is at full health. Holy crap. All right, well, you know the drill. Three on two now. Let's get these boys in, and let's start. They always got to do that multi-shot at the beginning when they jump up. Ripped cage attack, everything. And the mutant mobs work so well because they're designed to attack multiple opponents. They're similar to how the ore spawn mobs work, except they're not, well, ore spawn. <laughs> and before anyone suggests any ore spawn fight, keep in mind that we are in version 1.12 right now, and ore spawn is not in this version, so we are not permitted to use that. However, if you guys know of any mod that adds in mobs in 1.12 that you would like me to use for fights, let me know, and I will see if it's compatible with this mod pack I use. All right. Minishrooms won. This seems to be a pretty even way of doing things, so... Now we have three Minishrooms. I didn't mean to hit you, I'm sorry. I'm sure you'll be fine with one less health. Fighting against three Mutant Skeletons. I didn't mean... I mean, that actually makes it fair. Alright, go. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. Three on three. Oh, that was interesting. He just... Oh my gosh. They These two are just double teaming that one. And again, with the skeleton's ability to have that, that bone-crushing move at the end when they explode, it, it kind of makes it hopeless unless the Minishrooms can just overwhelm them, but it's three-on-one right now. And they just he just did a 360 back shot. Yeah, it's... yeah. Alright. One, two, three, four. I don't know why I keep doing that. Alright. When I have to make it even again, I punch the skeleton. And then one, two, three. Let's go. Also, the skeleton's regular shot that he does with his bow hits through multiple targets as well. So, there's like... He basically had the crossbow with piercing before Minecraft itself had it. Which is pretty ironic. 
And for anyone wondering, yes, there will be another Project Neo episode going out today, later today. You guys said you wanted it daily. I've got a ton of videos pre-recorded for it, so I'm able to keep you entertained for at least a week or so <laughs> before I need to worry about it again. All right, there's one cow left and he's getting beat. Oh, and I guess I should take the time to say, uh, while this cow is losing, um, if you guys have it, don't know about this already, I actually do have a Twitter account now. I'm not a huge social media person, but after multiple attempts of people begging and, uh, Piero Neon Slice telling me to <laughs> create one for my fans, I, I figured I might as well. Um, he helped me set it up, but yeah, so wait, how many just do we have? So cows lost, right? So we need five cows now versus three um so yeah i don't know if i'll have it in the description i need to edit all my descriptions to put it in but it's just at ultra unit 17 at least that's what it should be um uh, i currently i think i only have three followers but yeah I, all i'm basically using it for right now at least is posting um videos so like when a video goes live i, I try i've already forgotten to do it a few times but i try just to post just so in, just another way to notify in case youtube decides not to um, so if you want to be like the first to get into a video or something, maybe, maybe consider following me on Twitter. If you have Twitter, if you don't, don't worry about it. I completely understand if you don't. Um, again, I'm not going to be using it for anything really other than just posting videos. I might post occasional like messages and updates on it and stuff, but I'm also using my YouTube platform for that as well in the community tab. So really it's just an extra thing just to help you guys stay informed if you'd like to follow me on there. Again, it is, I think it's at ultra unit 17 like that. Um, wait, did I just spell ultra wrong? I did. At ultra unit 17. And if for some reason it's not 17, it's just at ultra unit, but I'm pretty sure it's at ultra unit 17. And the skeleton is just one again. All right, then. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, they're busting out the big guns. They actually have it. One of them has an enchanted axe, finally. Um, and then one, two, three. The bone attack really gets them. And I like how we got to the point where the mutant skeletons are just overwhelming. I was going to say that before I start talking about Twitter. Um, that the... That eventually, even if it's a mirror matchup like 2-on-2, two, 3-on-3, two two, three three, you normally learn how strong a mob is just based on its ability to hold its own against multiple targets. So even though like these guys are 1v3ing right now, they can still handle it. Because even if they die, their move does a ton of damage. But now it's five on one, so that might change. Oh, he actually took one out there. Nice job, guys. If he keeps doing his scatter shot where he jumps in the air, he has a chance. Oh, he killed another one. And he lost. Unfortunate. So what are they at? 68, 31, and 69. Interesting. All right. And of course, the guy with the enchanted axe survived. What was on this axe, by the way? Efficiency two. Okay, it wasn't that much to worry about. Um, alrighty. Let's move on. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. I believe that is the magic number that secured them victory. Um, and they're going to be fighting against four, which will probably decimate them. All right. One, two, three, four. Let the fighting commence. And after this round, we will do the semi final and final round. It's kind of interesting because normally these mobs would never fight each other. But because we have the ability to make them, it's very interesting to see how things would go. I don't even think they ever could fight each other in such a regard because the Minishroom lives in his own dimension in his own little maze thing. And the... Did they win again? Oh my gosh, they won again. What happened? You guys were losing horribly and now all of a sudden you're winning? Is six the magic number for you guys like three was for the mutant skeleton? Anyway... Uh, on to the semi-final round, based on that knowledge. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's right, we're doing just eight. But that might be enough. These are mini-bosses we're having fight. Now, I have a question for you guys in the comment section for watching. Do you consider... So, obviously, the Minishroom is a mini-boss, which essentially means it's not strong enough to be considered a boss, even though it has 120 health. Um, you don't have to worry about too much to kill it. Would you consider the mutant mobs, like mutant skeleton stuff, bosses or mini-bosses? I'm just curious. But... One, two, three, four, five. And let the battle commence. This is the semi-final round. Five against eight. Let's see how this goes. I am really curious. I'm only going to say skeletons is you better bring your A game or else they're going to tear you to pieces.
The midget shrimp see their fallen brethren on the ground. It just makes them even more angry. Oh, one skeleton burst. I believe the bones also have a chance to give, like, um, poison and stuff. Like, if they, if they, like, combine together and stuff on the ground. I don't know. I'm just noticing a little bit of it. Currently, it's two on four, though. Okay, they killed one. Killed two. All right, it's two on two. Two on one. That one only has six health, though. He's going to get him. Yeah, that one has seven health. He's going to do it. He's going to do it. Even if he got hit, his final his final explosion, you could call it, would have uh, killed the Minishroom. But Skeleton won the semifinal round. Let's move on to the finals. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I know that sounds crazy, but we got 12 cows on the arena. They're mooing. Listen to them moo. All right. I think I've got them all ready. I do. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Excellent. Right click the bone. And let's get this final party start. I'll throw your items down so you guys can see what's been happening. I mean, in their, in their AI minds, they've just been forced to fight for no reason. Now they know why. One of these days, we'll get a mob that's able to pick up that wand. All right, one skeleton's already down. I've heard the explosion. But one cow is also finished. A few cows seem to also be to be finished. I mean, it's 8 on 12, so... The skeletons just have to work as a team. And even if in death, they are working as a team. Because the bones don't affect them when they explode. Again, I'm so glad the new person that's working on this mod made it so they can't hurt each other. Because in the old version of when it was called mutant creatures the uh the mutant creatures when they did their like attacks had the ability to hurt each other which shouldn't have made sense because they're on the same team but as you can see four mutant skeletons one at full health actually survived this fight at the end and with that that is going to conclude this fight i hope you guys did enjoy if you did smash the like button to show your support remember if it gets to 15 likes i will consider doing two next week um, not a guarantee, just a consideration. Um, if you blow the light go out of the water, then we'll definitely do two next week. Uh, definitely check out my Project Neo episode going out, or premiering, I should say, later on today. You guys can have chat interaction while you watch as we banter about uh, making, I think we're still working on the breakfast sandwich, yeah. Um, and later on after that, there will be a Fortnite video going out. So if you guys are interested in Fortnite and want to check that out too, go for it. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Again, it's at UltraUnit17 or at UltraUnit. It could be as well, but I think it's just at UltraUnit17. Um, so in case YouTube doesn't notify you, there's a chance you'll be notified on there when I upload a video. But that's enough of me rambling. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.